Okay, I'm going to go over an um, uh, event that you can do every three hours. And this is important because this event is going to give you quite a bit. And you won't have to spend any money to do it. Um, you'll need resources, of course. Uh, but it's going to help you build. It's going to help you grow. It's going to help you train. And it's going to help you research. Now, we're going to go down to the... Um, events calendar which is uh, bottom left and we're going to scroll down to the section that says solo event and inferno event now the inferno event is what i'm going to focus the most on but as you can see there's a counter for both so let's click on the inferno event you can see here that there are point values that you get and it tells you how to score points so increasing a building force by one building force you'll get one point if you increase one research force you get one point so the total max you can get in a three-hour period is four hundred and eighty three thousand and once you hit all these goals you'll get the treasure and rewards for each of those so same with if you train three troops, a, a tier three troop, you get four points. And these points, how you build, are the same in the solo event. So there's two different events that I'm talking about. It's the Inferno event, which we're looking at right now, and the solo event, which is the other tab. Now, the reason why I'm focusing on the Inferno event is because it ends in, in this particular one, it ends in two hours and 26 minutes. You can do this every three hours. And if you're doing it consistently and getting all the points every three hours, granted, you do have to sleep. I mean, most people sleep. I've, I've talked to several people during SVS where they stay up for 24 hours straight it's because they're playing SVS the whole time. Um, I, I need my sleep. I don't know how people do that. <laughs> Uh, but if you go to your goals, if you're completing these tasks every three hours, look at what you're getting. Goal one, 40,300 points. You get 100 in gold and four one-hour speed-ups. Goal two, you get 200 in gold. You get one eight-hour speed-up, one three-hour speed-up, one two one-hour speed-ups, uh, 500,000 in food, 500,000 in stone. Goal three, you get 2,500 in gold. You get three 24-hour speed-ups, five eight-hour speed-ups, eight three-hour speed-ups, eight one-hour speed-up, five rare materials chests, and you get 500,000 in coin. All right, I don't know if, about you guys, but I love speed ups. Speed ups are, are like crack to me. They are awesome. But I blow through them so fast. The key to this event is getting the points to get all these goals, but waiting af until the next three hours to do it again if you are consistently doing it that means that you'll continually get the rewards that it's showing okay um, you can also get additional awards um, by making the first rank second rank third rank uh, if you're in the top 10 you'll get these rewards and the way you can see your if you're in the top 10 is click on history and it'll tell you um, what people are making. Uh, so this is not just statewide, not just alliance comparative. This is worldwide. This is with the entire West game. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you can see it's resetting every three hours. See how that one reset at 1205. That one reset at 905. So it's resetting every three hours. That's a lot. You can get a lot in this game. So jump on, set a timer on your phone, or set an alarm every three hours on your phone, 
and just jump on, do the event, go quick. Now, let's go out and let's show you how you can see how much force something will make, okay? So I have one barrack, let's click on it. So you can see I am turning two um, riflemen at 6,000 each. The max I can train is 6,000 in one pop with my barrack size. So 6,000 times four, which is the amount of points you would get per troop, is 24,000. I have two churning right now, which means after they're done, and I can speed up to get those done during the event, I will get 48,000 points for those two troops that go towards my Inferno event or solo event. So uh, will that get you close? Remember what our tiers are? 400, 400, 400 oh my god, 40,300. So training troops, each one doesn't get you as much uh, points, but it will get you there if you're training troops. Now, how do you get to 483,000? So let's go take a look at your buildings. So right now I'm researching... I'm working towards getting T4s right now, so I'm going to click in my economic thing, and um, right now I'm, you can see it glowing right in the middle there, ore production, so that's what I'm working on right now. You can also click on current research, and it'll highlight what your current research is, um, but I'm going to click on it, and um, it shows me how much force I'm going to get just by completing this research, all right? So I'm going to get 561,250 points. I still have three days, 21 hours, 54 minutes, and 16 seconds. But guess what? I just got three 24 hours in the last Inferno event. So I can use this to speed it up. But I am going to wait to apply those speed ups till the next Inferno event starts so that this will go to the next inferno event i hope this is making sense if you're on a lower uh, lower level so i'm i'm pretty high on on a lot of my uh, researches but let's see this one right here so scroll down i can increase my force by 109,370 how long it'll take is definitely going to be less than three days, but that shows you how much force you have. So you don't want to be wasteful. I mean, go in and look how much you are going to get force wise. Now the same is for buildings. So let's go to a smaller, lower level building like over here, uh, but click on one and then let's scroll down. If I were to upgrade this, um, it would only give me 6,568 in force, okay? Uh, let's go to a larger one. So, say I wanted to upgrade the church. I will upgrade 39,410. So, I mean, when you're looking at this you have to decide where you want to put your effort into to get the points for Inferno event. So this cabin from 20 to 21, it'll give me 99,758. So if I did about five of these, think about it. How much is it going to cost me to get this up to that place? So... For me, I've noticed research is where to go to build up Inferno. So for me, I'm focused on getting T4s. That's my goal right now. But I have to get through all of this research to do it. So I'm going to bang it out today with the Inferno event because of all the stuff that I get. I'm on level 10 research on all six of these right now and several of the ones on the combat side of research. That gives you a lot of points, so click on it and see how much force you're going to get. Just one of these, just one will give me enough points to bang out Inferno Event in one shot.
okay? And for what I'm seeing with the economic research, it's only taking three or so days. But guess what? You get those 24, you get three 24-hour speed-ups, but then you're getting all those eight-hour speed-ups, three-hour speed-ups, and blah, 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 blah. So think about how much that's adding up and how much gold you're going to get. Um, so this is a constant thing that's happening, guys. Uh, if you want to grow fast, you need to take advantage of these events that are happening. Now, look at the solo event. Um, it doesn't take as many points to get these. You only need 25,000 points. Granted, the solo event does not give you as much in rewards, but it happens more often than the Inferno event. Now, when you are doing goal one, you just get one 10-minute speed up. Goal two is uh, one 15-minute speed up. And goal three is one 80 um, in gold, uh, 60,000 in food, 50,000 in iron, and one um, uh, rare materials uh, chest. Now, this runs every hour, so you have... You have three of these that you can get every uh, Inferno event happens. So you can do this three times. So if you multiply the what you'll get in rewards, that's, that's going to add up. So if you're constantly on the game and you want to build fast, you need to be doing these events. Okay? If you're not understanding how this works, please message me and I will help you. They happen every three hours and every one hour. So, have fun, guys. I'm gonna, I want you all to comment and tell me how fast you're growing after this video because uh, I love watching people grow. Uh, message me, message me in the, in the comments and tell me where you're at, uh, how big you are. Find me on the game. My name is Knitter. Message me. And uh, let's be friends, and I'll check you out. You can check me out. I grew about 5 million in just the last um, several hours. I'm now at 120 million, uh, almost 121 million in force. By the end of this day, I'm going to be pretty high. Um, but I'm going to focus on doing all of it in my research. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, uh, leave comments. Leave those questions in the comments. And if you um, like, please click that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe uh, if you would like. Um, no pressure on that. And uh, share with your friends because I'm making these videos to help you guys. But my goal is to help you get better at this game. So... Keep plugging away. Let me know how you're growing. I want to know. <laughs> and have a great, wonderful rest of your day. And stay positive, okay? All right, bye.